Hey everybody, Rob Terrence here. I'm the founder, CEO, and chief creator of Amazing Ideas at Stunning Digital Marketing. Hope you're all having an amazing day. Today's podcast, I'm going to throw out some time management tips on how to be on time. This is really important because being on time reflects the way people perceive you in business. So sit back, relax, grab a drink, and enjoy this podcast. Hey everybody, Rob Cairns here. Welcome to this week's podcast. Today I want to talk about a skill that is really important in business, and that's kind of being on time. And what I'm going to do is give you some actionable tips on how you can make sure you're on time for meetings and other life events. It's really important. Frankly, for me, it's how I perceive people. Uh, Being on time for me is a big deal. And it should be a big deal for you. So one of the reasons people forget about appointments or are not on time is they don't use a calendar or a schedule. What I suggest for people who have time management problems, because we all carry smartphones, is to use Google Calendar. And one of the reasons I suggest using Google Calendar to manage your schedule is you can set off alerts. I like to set mine off 15 minutes before every appointment. And I set that by default. So that means my smartphone will buzz at me 15 minutes before every appointment to remind me that I have something to do that's important. That helps me be on time. Use Google Calendar. The second thing I do in Google Calendar is I color code tasks. So I color code them depending on what I'm doing. For example, something in yellow is a webinar I'm going to join. Something in great is a podcast that I'm going to listen to. Something in sage is a business event and so on. And I use those colors to help manage the events and the things I have to do. So that's the first thing. The second thing is I use a booking system that allows clients to book time with me. And when I set my booking system up, I actually slack time in my schedule. So I don't allow any appointments to be booked without 30 minutes before them and 30 minutes after them. It's really that simple. If you book back-to-back appointments on a continuous basis, sooner or later, you're going to be late and you're going to upset somebody. So always leave yourself slack time. Now, what's slack time for? Before COVID, slack time was often transportation time, time to get from one appointment to another. I also use slack time for to get a stretch, to do a bathroom break, to get a drink, to take my puppies out in between meetings, and so on and so forth. You cannot continue to book meetings back to back. That is a recipe for disaster. Because sooner or later, meetings start to run over. And how I handle those are very simple. With 15 minutes left in the meeting, I say, okay, is there anything left that's really important that we have to address now? And if there's not, and there's a list of things, we've used up our, all our allocated time, and let's book a second meeting. It's that simple. It's not fair to the person you have a meeting with later to be late for them either. And you have to manage it. So. Use an online booking system, allow clients to book into your calendar, build Slack time in, and use the technique that when meetings are wrapping up, that you wrap them up and end end them. And if you try and do those things, you'll be on time. The other thing is, to help you with all this, is get into a routine at the beginning of your day. Many people start off their day behind the eight ball. Set routine. What do you do in the morning? Typically, I get up, take my puppies out, I have coffee, I watch the news, and then I look at email, and then I work into my work day. And I generally, as a rule, don't start meetings till about 10 o'clock. And the reason for that, frankly, is I know it takes me time to get there. So why set myself up for failure? set myself up for success. Think about that 
Think about the techniques I shared with you. Try them out. And you'll be surprising how much more on time you'll be. As always, Rob Cairns, founder, CEO, and chief creator at Amazing Ideas at Stunning Digital Marketing. You want to follow me on Twitter at Rob Cairns or go on over to our website, stunningdigitalmarketing.com. By the way, with COVID still going on, I'm still offering free sessions to help you and your business succeed. Go on over to the website, scroll down the main page, sign up for a free 30-minute session. Or if you want to cut to chase, just email me at VIP at stunningdigitalmarketing.com. I'll set you up with a free session. We'll sit down. We'll give you some actionable items to help you. No credit card needed. No nothing needed. Just some tips to help you and your business grow when the stuff done. As always, this podcast is dedicated to my late father, Bruce Cairns. Keep your feet on the ground. Keep reaching for the stars and make your business succeed. Have a great day. Bye for now.